Christine, you're right. Great news. What a happy story this one is. I'll tell you, you always hope for the best when you have one of these Frenchies stolen, hoping that the dog will find its way back to the family that's, that's heartbroken over all of this. But I'll tell you, you never would imagine that would, it would happen just a day later. Let's start it off with the happy reunion over at the animal shelter. Watch this, will you? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bruno is back just a day after being stolen during a violent assault on his owner. Bruno, the French bulldog, is home safe and sound. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's unreal. Uh, we had hopes that he would return, but never ever did we imagine that it would happen and in such a short notice. My dad just starts breaking up in tears and I'm like, okay, this means I, we're going to get our, our baby back. Now their baby's getting big hugs and even a chance look to, to be out like a light sleeping here in the front yard after somebody dropped Bruno off at the South LA Animal Shelter early Thursday morning. He jumped out of the crate. Um, Isla was happy. My wife was happy. I mean, it was a really um, great reunion. Bruno knew as soon as he saw you. Yeah, yeah, as soon as, as, as he saw us, he, he, he came out. <laughs> More than you could ever hope for, he says, especially after what we showed you here on Fox 11 News Wednesday night. Bruno, who's on nearly all the videos on his family's cell phones, stolen. Please treat our dog uh, nice and be kind to him. A family heartbroken just a day ago after that violent attack that happens as Stefan and Bruno are out for their early morning walk right by their house here in Ladera Heights. Stefan shoved to the ground, punched, kicked, and Bruno carried away by as many as four dog nappers. We feel that 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 Stefan was scoped out in this situation, so it happens. You just have to be aware. Especially since the L.A. County Sheriff is still out there looking for these violent dog nappers, worried they could target yet another Frenchie. As you know, Frenchies are a very popular breed on the black market. Reason enough to take this advice to heart. Get your dogs chipped. In, in our particular case, it saved time, it saved them uh, uh, worries, nightmares. And in the end, it just may have saved Bruno's life. Um, this pet is priceless, but for somebody else, has very little value. And he's back home safe and sound. That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> how how nice is that, huh? You know, uh, Stefan saying to you, make sure your dog is chipped. But he's thinking about going even a step further with Bruno getting a GPS chip. Have you heard about those? I haven't. But anyway, it's the same type of thing you would use if you have your iPhone and you're trying to find it. It's lost. You use an app and it will direct you to your phone. In this case, it would direct you to your dog if the dog is stolen, if the dog runs away. But let's just hope it doesn't happen. But as Stefan says, you, you always think it's going to happen to somebody else until it happens to you. So now we are live here. Ladero Heights, Bruno back home. Back to both of you we go.